What's up everyone, welcome to Workshop Rebuild. In today's episode, I will be mounting the 47 inch snowblower onto the John Deere 55 right behind me here. If that's something you guys are interested in seeing, stick around until the end of this video because I will engage it for the first time to see how it spins. And that means I will be ready for winter then. Before I mount this snowblower onto the John Deere 55, I wanted to mention that I upgraded this snowblower already. So on the front of this snowblower, you'll notice the housing is actually worn towards the front and on the back it's actually still in great condition because the cutting edge is on this height right here. The original snowblower actually had a skid plate right here on either side, so on the left side and on the right side. I made my custom ones right here because I didn't want to purchase any. So these holes are a little bit further apart right now which will give this skid plate a little bit more balance and it will hold a little bit better. But these ones are much longer than the original ones as well so what I did I actually just bent the front a little bit more than the back because we also have some skid plates right behind there. So hopefully this uh, little customization will help out the snowblower. But right now I'm going to start with the assembly on the mounting hardware on the tractor and then we'll drive up to the snowblower and hook it up for the first time. So I got my wrenches, I have some nuts and bolts over here to actually tighten the mounting hardware onto the tractor and you want to make sure that the drive shaft is tight on your eccentric bearings just before you put onto the tractor it will be easier that way and so i'm going to just slide this in onto the tractor frame and then we'll bolt it up just like that i'm going to take the first two bolts and drive them in and then i'm going to grab the washers and the nuts and start tightening it up and then I can always double check the uh, level of that drive shaft just to make sure it's perfectly straight. So this right here is how the mounting hardware should look like. Up front we have a bolt. Uh, this goes through the frame and through the mounting hardware and the mounting hardware towards the back actually has this stud coming out right here and there's a little slot in the frame where it actually just uh, falls into place and I'm going to tighten up this nut first because there's a stud right there. Uh, that will be my pivoting point. I'm going to make sure that the drive shaft is level like this. And then I'm going to tighten up these two bolts on either side with the nuts. So the mounting hardware is now on the John Deere 55. The next thing I will do is I'm going to grab the long drive shaft, grease it up for the first time. So I'm going to make sure the U-joints are greased up and that the shaft itself, which is extendable, is greased up. After that, I can install it between the mid PTO and the mounting hardware. The drive shaft is in place and now I have to release two pins on either side of the mounting hardware are these pins right here. This has to be loose on the bottom of the mounting hardware so I can creep up to the snowblower. So it's already getting dark on me out here, but I finally got the snowblower hooked up to the John Deere 55. So I'll start it up for the first time and you'll see the snowblower turn over. As you guys just saw, the John Deere 55 turns over that snowboard with ease. I'm super satisfied with the outcome and I'm really ready for winter now. If you guys are interested in John Deere specifically, 
stick around for upcoming videos. I will have more content on the John Deere 55, but I think I also have some brand new projects which I can share with you guys, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.